hello and welcome to another Monkey Makes 3D modeling tutorial in Blender. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, as it helps the channel pop up in the searches. And here we go. Okay, here we go. The front end of the Ferrari F40. Finally. <laughs> right. I have noticed I didn't move these in images back, so put that back on there. Highlight your front image. If you don't have move on, you could just press oh, let's take, bring these out. We need to move. Actually let's turn that off. See if that actually does that. Yes, yeah, so move and then we can slide that back just so it lines up with the roof there. The same with this one. Slide that back. Okay, right, so go into side view, three on the number pad, click on the disable selection again, I just want to select this by accident, okay, minimize these, highlight our main folder, or wherever you've got yours set up I guess, you might just set yours up like this. Okay, so this is the origin point, so we need to press A. No, we don't press a shift A. Shift A normally. Bring up your add. But here we'll click on the add at the top here. Add mesh. And let's just add a nice simple plane. Move still highlighted there. Move it to the right. And then over here on this side in the order rotate along this y axis here put 90 in there there we go right now in the tab for edit and one or vert now basically we just need to line these up with the top ones here move again it slows you down so much using these short the, the slow buttons I'm afraid I will try to do it without so we're just going to drag these in here zooming in with the mouse wheel right, so if we click in the middle here or on the little red square there, we can move them like so. It's like that. We don't want to go all the way up to the, the corner there. Just net, not just yet. Now with these, we now need to extend or extrude these around this wheel arch here. And that should be, is it that one? No, it's bevel. Oh, this is going to be a problem. This is going to slow us down. This might be a slow video, this one, sorry. Nope. Need extrude, I'm afraid. Sorry, just looking for where extrude is. There's extrude edges there, sorry. Right. we'll just do that, we'll try that one let's go to edge extrude edges, there we go now that's weird, do you see how that's done that it's got your cursor all the way up the top and you're trying to direct that at the bottom that feels really uncomfortable we'll space these out a bit highlight these, still got the move on We'll just be doing this with a single vert to be fair. Same again though, highlight these two. Edge, extrude edge. Oh, I just feel so wrong. Same again, edge, extrude edge. If I just line it up with that one there actually. Bring that down. Just try to keep that same distance all the way around there. Nicely spaced out. Right, let's go 
that's that way round now. There's that gap there, isn't there? So, yeah, we'll just model that part down to there. We'll have this bit as the bumper, this will be the front end, and that could be lower chassis, maybe. Those, of course. Right, so them two selected. I wonder if it will do through vertex as well. Extrude vertices. No. See how that's separated them there now. The toggle x rays up here. Makes everything see through. Like an x ray. Oh. It says that's been extended there. It hasn't actually pulled um, the face with it, so just do a control Z. So it must be edge that you're extruding. Just keep moving them around. Try to f keep this out of one, following. Imagine if they're all pointing to the centre of the wheel here. There's another way to do this as well. What we could do is create a circle around the centre of the wheel. I'll demonstrate that next actually. And then you can decide for yourself which is quicker. Right, extrude edge again. Extrude. Lining these up. I'm going to do this just to show how much quick that is. Eight extrude. Just line that up on there. And then we'll move that just to keep that spacing good. There we go, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Right, so tab out of there. We can put the origin in here, so you press shift and right click, I believe, there we go. Close that centre as you can there, and we'll add a circle, and there's a vehicle re reversing outside, thank you. Right, so we've added that, we don't want too many vertices, isn't it, at the moment, it's on 32. What we'll do is we'll rotate on the y axis first, 90 degrees. There we go. Clearly too big. How about putting in there, there's a half a meter, still too big. 0.25. I'm thinking I'm doing the wheels. 0.4. That'll do. Right, so we'll only need to go between these two points. So. I think 32 even would still be too many. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Not that down to what's eight like? Two, four, 16. That's handy look. <laughs> that vert lines up there and that one lines up there. So that'll do. So in the tab, we'll do a scale. Which one's scale? This one here. And just grab the, the red square and pull that in. Hold shift to slow down the movement. And then once that edge touches there, that's fine. And of course, that's moved these, these words down here now. Right, with that done, we need to. Can we drag a box here? Yes, we can. Drag a box around them. That's the selection box. If you keep your finger on left click on there, it'll give you different shapes that you can select uh, objects with, I guess. Generally just leave it on selection box. So with them selected, do a right click, delete verts. Then with the 
select all of these. <coughs> what we could do again is extrude edge, drag that up, and then we'll just move these so they are lined up with here. So now the gizmo has disappeared, so we'll click back into move. Line them back up on there. Again, just correct these. <coughs> there we go, pretty much the same result. Tab come out, tap to come out. There we go. In fact, with the tab there, it is basically this as well. Select the code edit mode, that's the tab, tab button basically, and object mode. So, with that one, we have 17 faces, uh, 46 thirds and with the plain one we have pretty much the same but this one we created ourselves that have the pros and cons this is giving you a little bit more detail actually let's have a look at this one tab out of that go back in the circle right so so in edit mode again, if we want to add more detail to this, what we would do is go to in edge mode, select these two, drag through it, edge, subdivide, there you go, that's cut there in half. So just highlight that edge move it out to complete that curve smooth it out nicely do the same with that one subdivide highlight the edge if you don't highlight the left edge in the middle that will move all of it in there that's no good so you just highlight that one in the middle there there we go all that extra detail isn't really needed as we add a subdivision surface, that's going to add that curve to it. So that's just overkill at the moment there. Okay, well, though, we'll just add that one in there also. Subdivide, hide the middle edge, and move it out. Last one. It is producing a nice curve there, but like I said, the, the sub D. Well, that without it looks pretty good. We'll select the other one, which is not smooth at all, is it? Click on our modifiers, sub D, or subdivision surface. See that smooth that out there? And what that's doing is uh, how we went into edge and subdivide with them like that. That's basically doing the same thing. Every single one of them, it's cutting them in half, and it's also cutting it in half through there also. Viewport level, so since that's at one, every face here will be cutting half that way, and also around that way. Do that up to two. It now cuts it into two that way, and two that way. So the higher these are, the smoother that will get. Don't really go above three, I would say, ever, unless you are wanting to sculpt. And then that will add enough um, detail for your sculpt mesh. Right, so, which one should we use? The circle or the plate? Circle? We'll get rid of the circle. 
make sure you are in edit mode, uh, object mode. So we select circle. Yeah, I'll just get rid of this, this one here. This one, we have the subdivision on. You can easily disable that by turning that off there. Right, and with that done, I've got absolutely no way. It's taken ages. This is why we need to learn these little shortcuts. Nice, simple little shortcuts. Once you start using them, they'll stick in your head. It'll be second nature to you. Um, if, for example, E for extrude. G has always been a strange one. You've got to remember G as grab. And a double G will allow you to slide an edge. Let's demonstrate that before we go. Um, go into one. So G will allow you to move everything. Right click to cancel it. G G that's a slide. It'll never come away from them. Okay. Not much progress in this very first one. I will do some more. Be back shortly. So I'll catch you in the next one.